Hi friends, in this video, we'll learn about the Lloyd algorithm for k-min clustering. So in our last video, uh, we have learned about what is unsupervised learning and what is supervised learning, difference between supervised and unsupervised learning. There are two types of ways for unsupervised learning. One is centroid-based clustering. One is uh, hierarchical-based clustering. Right, and in centroid-based clustering, so we have, we need to make some random clusters. And one of the technique for centroid clustering is k-min clustering. So we'll learn in detail about this k-min clustering. If you have not viewed my previous video of difference between supervised and unsupervised learning and what is unsupervised learning and why we need unsupervised learning, then please find the link in the description and watch this, watch that video before watching this video. Okay. So in our last video, we have discussed what is centroid-based clustering. So let's say this is a set of random points we have. So we take three points as a centroid. So we take, we take three points, let's say we are doing three mean clustering. So to divide this data, uh, we want to divide basically this data into three clusters. Okay? So we take three random points in this data set. Let's say this is our first random point and this is our second random point and let's say this is our Third random. Okay. And now we try to find the distance of each point from these points, these uh, centroid points, and then we divide all these points into the three groups based on the point which is having minimum distance from which centroid. Okay, so we'll compute, let's say this is point one. So we'll compute the distance of this point from this point, from this centroid, and from this centroid. And as we can see, the distance of this point from this centroid is the minimum. So we push this data into this set of clusters. Okay. So again, let's say for this point, we computed its distance from all the three points. And it's nearer to this data. So we put this point into this cluster. In similar ways, we can see that in this graph, we can easily see that there are three types of cluster. Okay. But now let's say uh, this was a easy uh, set of data points to show the example. But, but let's say, we have this kind of data set. And also the choice of the centroid points is random, right? So let's say I have taken one centroid point here, one centroid point here, and one centroid point. We can take the points anywhere in this whole data set, right? So let's say uh, after the first game in clustering, this, this was the first set, this was the second set, and this was the third set that we came up with, right? But you can see that 
these points these points should be centroid of each cluster but they are not so in lloyd algorithm what we will do we'll recompute the centroid from these center points okay so let's say we have three points in first cluster three points in second cluster and then three points in third cluster so we'll again and let's say this is our center right so using these points using these set of point and these set of point we'll again recompute the value of k1 k2 and k3 and let's say we mark them k dash so let's say after uh, taking the mean of the coordinates of a plus b plus c we got some new points which we can represent here let's say these are our new points or let me take another pen let's say these are our new points right this can be the case where we are having now these as our new points right so again based on these points we'll redraw this circle or we compute the distance of all the points okay so now let's say our second cluster come like this you can see that there are some points which have changed their original cluster right <clears throat> so let's say this is this is our new cluster okay and now again we'll recompute uh, the distance of we'll again recompute the mean of all these points till till the point uh, where we are able to find the minimum distance and there is no movement among the clusters of any point okay so we'll compute that how many points are moving after we redraw the mean of each cluster and when this this movement become minimum we'll stop this algorithm we'll stop this recomputation of centroid points and dividing the cluster again and again this is our lloyd algorithm right so this this was came in cluster okay now in supervised learning we always knew what is our y variable and what is our x1 x2 and x3 the independent variables right but so to test that our learning model is accurate or not what we do we compare the y dash values the newly computed values with the y value right and we predict the accuracy score of the accuracy score of the algorithm cool guys but what to do in unsupervised learning algorithm we don't have y right with us to compute the values or we don't know that actually what is the correct clusters of these points right so there is an algorithm called elmo method which is basically minimizing within cluster sum of square so to decide that how many cluster we need we use this method so what we'll do we'll divide we'll start from one cluster to let's say n cluster where n are the number of points in the space and one is the like one cluster so let me give you an example and we plot a graph of the distance of each point from the centroid point so in uh, let's say one mean clustering there will be one centroid point so what we'll do we'll sum the sum the distance of all the points from this point center point and we give it a value so as you can see this will the maximum case this will give us the maximum result because every point distance we are computing from this point right now let's say we have two clusters then this will be our data set right 
so now we are this this will be lesser than the one cluster can you see that so again we compute the distance of each point from this pole the centroid point and we do the sum of squares of these distances and let's say this is our distance is the two cluster this is our distance uh, sum of cluster some uh, some of the distance of all the points from the centroid with one cluster this is sum of the sum of all the points from their respective cluster with two cluster similarly we do this for three cluster four cluster and then let's say we have 10 point so ultimately we are assigning each point to a cluster and this will be nearly zero in ideal case so this will always make an elbow like structure and we basically try to point this point where the curve before this point the curve is falling drastic and after this point it becomes slightly lean okay so now this is the point where we can say that we are getting optimized value so for this graph we'll choose the three is the optimal number of cluster which can divide all this data into a good unsupervised learning clusters okay so thank you guys is video me itna hi har har cluster ke liye please watch my next video and please subscribe thank you